So this is me on a Saturday morning. I know, I feel bad for Brent too. <laughs> Clearly a different room here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be doing something today that I may regret. I am dyeing my own hair. But first things first, I am going to put my contacts in so that I don't have this in the way. Now I am semi-prepared for this. Um, I have I have hair dye. I have a developer. I did not have a bowl, so I found an old Q-tip container that I can mix stuff in. So professional. So I have my hair color. I bought three of these. The L'Oreal something, excellence high color reds. And this is in red hot. I have three of these. The instructions say measure two and a half fluid ounces with one of these. So I'm going to um, guesstimate about seven and a half ounces and mix it with all three. Because I do have, it doesn't look like I have a lot of hair, but I have a lot of hair. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need all three of these. Hopefully it's enough. If not, Aubrey, <laughs> help. Um, by the way, I got all this at Sally's, if anybody's wondering. Oh dear. Perfect. Now I'm gonna mix in all three tubes. Oh, what's this? There's another ingredient I wasn't prepared for. Apparently this little guy is red intensifier and this is my hair color. So I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put everything all on this little Q-tip thing. All right, and I'll be right back. I am five minutes into this and I already have red shit all over my hands and my bathroom. This is the concoction that I have so far. I'm gonna mix this bad boy up and then separate my hair and then I'll turn this back on. All right, I'm all mixed up and this is my, oh my God, if I drop this, that's my final product right there. And um, just so you guys know, <laughs> wow. Just so you know, um, I did text my hairstylist a while ago and told her and like, if I message you or call you with a hair emergency, um, just know that I screwed something up. And her reply was, what the fuck, Crystal? And I just sent her a smiley face. So, Aubrey, love you. You might have a mess to fix here. All right, diving right into it. Put my gloves on and get this process started. I was gonna use a brush, but I think the best option here is my hands. I really should have laid a towel down on my sink. I would also like to say, I am not a professional. I am not a cosmetologist. I truly don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Um, so do not try this at home. I have it all on there that took what seems like forever. I'm gonna leave it on for half hour. I don't know, half hour sounds good to me. Then I will probably just, I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'll get ready and then we'll see what it looks like when it's all dry. How about that? Yeah, sounds good, great, great. I don't know if you can see, I am, <laughs> I am covered in red hair dye. So while this is like settling into my hair, I am going to try to get all this red crap off of my skin. Wish me luck. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can't really tell, it doesn't pick up that well. It's not picking up the, the red that well on this camera, I don't think. I don't know, I'm kind of blinded by this light, but I love it. I didn't want to go too, too bright like I used to have. I used to have pretty bright red hair, and I think, I think in another couple weeks, I'm gonna wait a couple weeks and then I'm going to go for a brighter red just to see how vibrant I can get it without actually bleaching my hair. So if you have any questions, comment below. I will get back to you. Um, just say hi, because I, I like interacting with you guys. It's, it's fun. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!